2013 was a year of change. Change of many, many lives. Men, women, and children who came to our Pompano, Hollywood, and Miami campuses. Sometimes it began with a meal. Before I came to the mission, I had a, I've had a life, an, an addiction for over 30 years. I thought the only way I could stop doing the drugs and the, the addiction period would be by dying. But I, I, I met the mission, I found out about the mission, and I'm at, at the mission. My life was a mess. Drugs, alcohol, um, lying, stealing, cheating. I lost my job. I came to out, um, Broward Outreach Center, my daughter and I. We had no place to go. I came to Broward Outreach Center because I was homeless due to a um, bad relationship with my boyfriend. Um, he was using and I have four years sober, so I decided to leave. Before I came here, I was miserable, um, desperate. I wanted to change my life. I was started off as a functioning, you know, functioning ag. I had, you know, decent jobs. Everything was working great as I thought. And, uh, you know, I was steady using smoking crack cocaine and going from job to job. And, and you know, things were just, things kind of spiral out of control later on in my latter years of my life to pass, what, back in 2008, you know, a friend of mine referred me to the Miami Rescue Mission. And that's what brought me here. I think the Miami Rescue Mission, to me, um, means really I think compassion um, love love entails so many so so many so many aspects uh, and the fact that uh, it's an organization with people and the people who are there have so much love to give that they're outpouring to those who feel that they are unloved those needy people whether they're homeless whether they don't have a meal whether the children or whether it's the women's center um, they feel lack of love and there's a lot of love being given to be able to reconstruct rebuild lives to those people who thought that had no life left in them every time I think of Miami rescue issue I think of the cross I think of uh, you know Jesus Christ with his extended hands and his uh, feet and head laid out and uh, we see a vertical and horizontal um, uh, structure to the cross. We see the uh, head of Christ uh, initiating the relationship between God and man. And then we see the hands of Christ, which is the horizontal movement of uh, the application of the gospel to the community. And so um, if you are considered in working with Miami Rescue Mission and you are a Christian-based, faith-based organization, we have to keep that relationship with God going, but we also have to extend our hands to this community. So that's pretty much why we are here uh, in this organization. When, when I work behind the, the kitchen serving the food, I see our brothers coming in for the first time, the look on their faces, the desperation. And over the weeks that I come, I see the, the hope in their faces. And it's, it's just wonderful then to be able to see gentlemen graduating from this program, which I have been blessed to see that. It's just a wonderful feeling watching their growth through this wonderful faith-based program. They had everything I needed. Um, and self-education helped me get myself out of that, but the Broward Outreach Center and the classes and their ability to allow me to do the things I needed to do for myself is what saved my life. Luckily, Broward Outreach took me in gave me something to study. Now I have one of the most wonderful careers that you can have here. Now I've successfully completed my studies at Barry University. I'm graduating with my master's degree in social work and I, I am excited, I, I really am. Nobody could have said, okay, you out there doing drugs, you out here sleeping in the car, you out there eating out the garbage can, you doing all these foul things, but you're going to have your master's degree in 2013. Nobody would have never convinced me that this day was going to come. Hi, I'm Marilyn Brummett. I'm the Director of Development at the Miami Rescue Mission and Broward Outreach Centers. Yeah, and I'm Ron Brummett, her husband. I'm the president of the Miami Rescue Mission and Broward Outreach Centers, and together we're serving the Lord uh, in Miami, in Hollywood, in Pompano Beach, serving the homeless and the needy. And last year, uh, by the way, this is being filmed early in the year, and so we look back at 2013, and we're going to take a look forward in 2014. But last year, 
uh, because of you and your support and your help, your partnership, we were able to serve over 950,000 Meals to Hungry people. Uh, we had over 20,000 people in some different ways, uh, encouragement through one of our outreaches or uh, even through our centers, our residential programs, were touched, their lives were touched and, and many were transformed. And then about 200 formerly chronically homeless men and women came off the streets during our outreaches throughout the year. Presently we're serving over 1,300 people a day. It's going to increase as we open up a new center. But the crux of it is we can't do it without you and your support. So God bless you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for the thousands of volunteers that have provided thousands yes. of hours here. Yes. Thank you for doing a toy drive, a clothing drive, a food drive, uh, donating financially. And we're going to make 2014 even a larger year to get more people off the street, to encourage more homeless men, women, and children to experience a changed life and to reach our goal that no one is homeless. God bless you and may 2014 be even a double portion yes. of what was accomplished in 2013. God bless you.